What's up guys, Kevin Cook here. I'm so sorry, I know it's been a really long time since my last video, but I've just been busy with all kinds of projects going on in my life. It feels like there are an infinite number of things to do in Yangshuo, and it's hard to contain all of them into just one video, but I've done my best here with the help of some friends. We've compiled this list to hopefully inspire you to try some really cool things here in Yangshuo during your next visit. So let's jump right into it. When you first travel to Yangshuo, you're probably gonna arrive via Guilin Airport. And one way to get to Yangshuo that's really cool via Guilin is to take the Li River Cruise. A taxi will get you from Guilin to Yangshuo in about an hour to an hour and a half, but if you really wanna have a rich experience, then this Li River Cruise is the way to go. Another river that runs through Yangshuo is the Yulong River, and on this river you can take a Yulong rafting boat. You can go with two people on the boat, but you also have a guide who's pushing it with this pole. And it's really relaxing, really slow, and a great way to spend an afternoon in Yangshuo. For those of you who are into partying and into Western restaurants and the international scene, then I highly recommend you check out West Street. This is where all the bars are, this is where all the international hotels, and just all sorts of little shops selling gifts and things like that. It's a wonderful place to go for a long stroll and just see all the people and the lights, but beware, there's probably lots of tourists there too. A really cool and actually very secret destination is Treasure Cave. I've been to this spot so many times, it's amazing. It's this huge cave poking out of a mountain. It's near Moon Hill, but you're gonna need to ask for directions because it's a little bit hard to find. Next on the list is rock climbing. Oh my goodness. I've never tried actual outdoor rock climbing until I came to Yangshuo, and I've absolutely fallen in love with this amazing sport. When you try it though, you're definitely gonna need to wear a harness, and I recommend you get some shoes and some chalk. It makes it a lot easier, and folks, it truly is one of the reasons why lots of foreigners come to Yangshuo. It is the perfect place to learn rock climbing, and there's so many challenging rock climbing routes here. It truly is the mecca of rock climbing in China. So if you come here, absolutely must try outdoor rock climbing. There's a tea farm 45 minutes drive north of Yangshuo at the peak of a hill, and it is absolutely beautiful. You can go there and you can pick your own tea leaves, take these leaves, prepare them, and then drink the tea that you picked. What an experience. A very relaxing day spent, and I highly recommend it for anyone who is a tea enthusiast. There are a couple beaches where you can hang out along the Li River. One of them is Double Beach, and one of them is Secret Beach. They're about a kilometer north from West Street along the Li River, and it's an excellent place to see the sunset, and you might even see some water buffalo roaming around. Across from Guilin Romance Park is this place called Via Ferrata. It's this massive rock face. And on it is this really cool and very safe course where you can climb and go through all these different little loops and gadgets. There's zip lines and other activities, super fun and a little bit exhilarating for those of you who have a little fear of heights. For you cooking enthusiasts out there or people who are interested in learning about Chinese cooking, check out the Yangshuo Cooking School where you have an English speaking guide take you to the market, pick out some fresh ingredients, then go to this cooking school in the Yulong scenic area where you can prepare your dishes and have a wonderful dinner with your friends. It's a lot of fun and you'll learn a lot about cooking. For those of you into martial arts, check out the traditional Tai Chi school here in Yangshuo. It's a beautiful Kung Fu and Tai Chi school made from old buildings in a village in the Yulong scenic area. You can come here and just study for one day or one week, or you can do like some of my friends do and live at the school. They actually get accommodation at the Tai Chi school and they stay here for months at a time the Tai Chi masters there speak English, so it's a really great way for you to learn some traditional Chinese martial arts, even if you don't speak Mandarin. Now for some extreme whitewater rafting, check out Longjing whitewater rafting. Two people to a raft, and it is an intense man-made whitewater rafting river that goes down a mountain. Super fun, super fast. For the whitewater rafting, I suggest you book tickets through a tour agency who can also give you a bus to take you directly there. It's like an all-inclusive package. I always say if you don't try the local food, it's like you've never even traveled to a place at all. When you come to Yangshuo, you're gonna see Pijou everywhere. There'll be like seven or eight shops all in a row selling the same specialty dish because that's kind of what the face of tourism is for many Chinese people that come here is they come here to try beer fish. So come and try Pijou beer fish and you won't be disappointed, especially the 
Malguyu because there's not that many bones in it. For those of you who are into waterfalls, Pubu Tang is the waterfall to check out here in Yangshuo. It's a 45 minute scooter ride along the Li River north of Yangshuo. Super scenic route and then you're gonna have to walk a little bit too once you arrive there. You get to climb up this waterfall and then you can play in the top with your friends. It made me feel like I was a kid again. Next on the list is Moonwater Cave. This place is a few kilometers south of Moon Hill. You do need to hire a guide for this, but it's not a touristy cave. It's very natural. You enter by a boat and there's many underground rivers inside. And finally at the end, there's a mud bath, which I think is the coolest part. For anyone who comes to Yangshuo, you should rent a scooter. It's an electric scooter too, so it's environmentally friendly. And it's worth it because it's necessary for getting to most of the cool places that I'm recommending. Many of the hotels that you can stay out here actually have scooters ready to go at the front of the hotel. And it's really only 30 to 50 renminbi per day. That's like $7 for the entire day. But if you're not comfortable riding on a scooter, then check out cycling. For only 15 renminbi a day, that's like $2. You can rent a bicycle for the whole day and explore the town of Yangshuo with your friends. Get a bike and cycle along the Yulong River. Maybe you can go to Fuli Bridge or the Yulong Bridge. Some nice old bridges along the Yulong River that really make for a nice photo. Now for those of you who love hiking, I think that the best mountain for hiking here is TV Tower. The reason it's called TV Tower is because there's an actual TV Tower at the top of this mountain. It was originally designed not to accommodate tourists, so very few people know about it. It's a great bit of exercise too. You'll be sweaty when you get to the top. This part, I can't stress enough. You come to China, you gotta learn a little bit of Chinese. It's gonna make your life easy. And I highly recommend you check out Omeda Chinese Academy here in Yangshuo. That's where I've been living, that's where I've been staying. I've studied Mandarin here for a long time. The program here is really cool. They have English studying students and Chinese studying students and everyone kind of comes together and you can volunteer some of your time to speak with some Chinese students who wanna learn English and that would deduct the cost of your stay here. And really, it could be even cheaper than staying at a hotel. If you decide to study at Omeda, please use my discount code MONKEYABROAD when you sign up. You'll get a 200 RMB discount and that lets the school know that I was the one that told you about it. It's a win-win. Next, this tourist destination is one of the poster card destinations of Yangshuo, Moon Hill. It's a giant limestone archway with hanging tufas. This place was actually made famous because rock climbers came here and would climb around this massive arch. But now, climbing there is prohibited for most of the year because tourists are coming to look and they don't want to see people climbing up and down this giant rock face. For a stunning view of the Li River, you've got to check out Husband Mountain. It's about an hour drive from Yangshuo City, but the view from the top of Husband Mountain is spectacular. You're gonna see the Li River winding around through all these mountains. It's definitely not something you're gonna forget anytime soon. One of my favorite ways to spend an afternoon is to stroll around Yangshuo Park. And a cool feature of this park is that there's a hill and at the top, there's this beautiful little pagoda. And you can go to the top there. You can play a little bit of chess at the top, Maybe just enjoy a scenic view of West Street and the Lee River. It's absolutely free to get there and it's really easy. It's only like a 10 minute walk up this hill. So definitely check it out. Now it's time for me to give some ultimate thanks to my friend and roommate, Scott Norris, who provided so much of the footage that you saw in this video. He's an amazing videographer and he's just started his own YouTube channel, Rad Ventures on YouTube. I've got a link in the description below. If you're looking for more content about Yangshuo, then go check out Scott because he's going to be uploading more and more stuff. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful for your next trip to Yangshuo. Please do me a favor, hit the like button. It helps me out, helps my channel to grow. Leave a comment, let me know what you think. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you next time.